Hello, my name's Sean and welcome to the Not Stopping Festival. Um, today we're going to do a little bit of experimentation, we're going to do a little bit of play, we're going to do a little bit of decoration and we're going to get inspired by the idea of music. So I've got a little confession before we start. I can't actually play a musical instrument. It's one of the things that I've always wanted to do, that and moonwalk. So while we're in lockdown, I thought what we could do is experiment. And all the different types of materials are things that you can find around the house. Um, we've also got different ways that we can decorate it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the different things we're going to make. And it's up to you. You can pause and then go and get all the different types of materials or the ingredients. That's what I like to call them. Or you can watch the whole video and at the end you can kind of at your leisure decide which musical instrument you want to experiment and play with. And then who knows, you might discover some new ones while you're having a little bit of a play. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the different types of sounds that we can make from household objects. I've got some little experiments to show you and then we're going to make some different types of musical instruments. We're also going to be decorating them. So the first type of ingredients that you will need to help you decorate are things like acrylic paint. That's because some of the materials we're using are kind of plastic cups, um, hose pipes, things that normal ready mix paint just won't kind of stick to. But if you don't want to use acrylic paint, because I can understand that sometimes you don't have acrylic paint everywhere, you can also use things like tapes, different coloured tapes. You can stick them on. Um, I've got lots of different types of stickers. I kind of raid my children's sticker collection for decoration. There's even Sharpies as well. So have a bit of an experiment and use lots of different types of things. What we've got around here, because I am in my beautiful kind of shelter stroke um, Wendy House stroke pretend studio, as I can't get to my studio, is all the different materials that we're going to need. So in terms of stickers, we've got lots of different stickers like this. Very bright colours, always good. We've got different types of tapes. You can see we've got loads of tapes here. Some of them are kind of like electrical tape that I found in that drawer that everyone has that has bits and bobs in. Some are different coloured masking tapes. You can stick coloured paper to it with glue or even get different colours and then sell a tape over those colours from different papers. So do have a little bit of a play. And I do have some acrylic paint which is just here. So we'll have a little bit go of painting towards the end. So as well as making a little one, um, I also thought I might as well make a large one as well. So I got this uh, tube that had, had a massive roll of paper in it. I thought I'm not throwing that away. And um, so I've just painted it and I've sort of stuck some stickers on. Um, you can really go to town decorating them. You can kind of, uh, once you've painted it actually, because it's cardboard as well, you can just do so many things to make it beautiful. You can wrap, um, use double-sided tape or glue and put fabric around it. Um, make it a beautiful piece of art. I've got a glove. Um, what I've done is I've just used a Sharpie, a white Sharpie, but you can use any paint stick as well, paint um, pen. Those ones you use, well, you know when people like paint pebbles, they're perfect. Um, and this is a one of the eco straws that we use, but actually any sort of piping is fine. So we're going to do exactly the same. I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter, like a drum. Hold that and we'll just see if it works. Yeah. It's so big, it's just too big for my uh, wind here. And there you go, experimenting and playing and making your own musical instruments. You can go small, you can go gigantic, you can have a whole orchestra. And it's not about um, making something, it's about experimenting and making something that's fun, making something that surprises you 
and um, also adding that beautiful vision and making it look beautiful even in a little Wendy house. Um, I would love and we would love to hear and see some of your musical instruments that you're making and some of your sound experiments as well. Um, let's see if you can make a gigantic glove bagpipe that would make my year. Um, if you go to Not Stopping Festival, you can tweet at Not Stopping Festival or Facebook and you can download some of your images or some of your performances, definitely some of your concerts. Um, and I really look forward to seeing them all and I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're all safe and happy and stay creative and have some fun and keep smiling and keep playing and I'll see you again around. Bye! <laughs>
some tape, sellotape's good, a straw and some scissors. Now I've got some kind of straws here, some drinking straws, which I use for doing art. Drinking straws aren't great, so you can get lots of alternatives. Um, I've got these eco ones. So actually they're just like um, just a rubber tube. So that means you can also use a little bit of hose pipe, garden hose pipe, because you're bound to have some left over from playing your French horn. Here's my lovely uh, glove. I've just got some disposable ones, sort of painted and decorated disposable ones, but again, kind of a pair of marigolds work a treat, but you won't be able to wash up afterwards because you can cut a little hole in them. A cardboard tube, doesn't matter what size, any size will do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the rubber glove on the end of our tube, just like that. And you're just going to secure it nice and tightly with some sellotape. I'm going to use a couple of bits of sellotape, make sure that my glove doesn't fall off. Okay. Perfect. Thing of strange beauty. Then you're going to get a finger, any finger will do. Let's go for the middle finger and uh, we're going to make a little hole. I'll get my scissors. Just snip a little bit. And, ooh, we'll go with red, shall we? And you're going to pop your straw in the little hole, which is probably the hardest thing you're going to do this whole musical experience. And then you're going to tape it nice and tight and go to sleep. Just like that. And again, I'm going to put a little bit extra on. Always good to make sure your bagpipes don't fly off. That is it. It looks like some weird experiment. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your tube and if you have a look, you're going to pull just the sides nice and tight, a bit like a little drum. And you're going to hold the tube to you like that, but you're going to blow through your straw. We'll, we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> It makes really different sounds depending on the size of tube that you have got. So um, again, it looks a bit odd and you can decorate it. Because it's a cardboard tube, you can use any sort of paint for this one. Um, but if you do want to paint the gloves, it's easier to paint them before you attach them. And if you use acrylic, that will dry really, really nicely. You can use tape on the straw as well. But remember, you can't use tape or stickers that good on the gloves because when you play it, the gloves inflate and you're going to have stickers sticking and popping off everywhere. Because I thought we'd have a bit of an experiment. I've got this one and I made a little one as well. And I just painted it. So um, a bit of a seascape on this one. We've got our glove. And I've used a little bit of a garden hose. Which I had some left over. So again, if you remember, you're going to pull your glove, like a little drum, hold the tube towards you, <clears throat> make sure your your hands not skew with or turned around and we'll we'll have a go. 